35 yards to the hole. And pretty darn good there with the greens drying out. It actually helped him part the first. And he does just that. So good start for Francesco Molinari, looking for his first ever PGA Tour win. Into the player's face, and this is a daunting tee shot. Yes, the travel's all the way down the right side here. Big hazard. No troubles for Molinari. He's like a machine. One of the straightest players in the world. Interesting green complex here. Breaks from front to back, so this one moving from his right. Gets another one to go, our leader. Now three clear. In fact, he's been working very hard also with Dave Allred, who helped Luke Donald get to world number one on those short game tactics. Molinari. Fairway frame for Lucas. The one down the right, 270 should not be in play. He's hoping for a little help here. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> I saw the little knee hinge. But what's he doing? It's well, it's five feet off the center of the fairway. They knock in with monotonous regularity in practice. You have to make it count when you're practicing these putts. Mm, dead center. And it goes down as a four. So two under for the day. Drew awaits a 10 and 11. That's for sure. 11 the toughest hole today. How about cut. that? Oh, my wow. goodness. That was on a line all the way. Superb. Good stroke. Good read. Speed more than anything else. Yeah, two putts here, and he extends the lead by another one. Does he need both putts? Bad one. How about that for Molinari? A monster eagle here at 10. He's now five clear. And looking every bit the Quick and Loans national champion for 2018. Molinari, just keep it in the middle of the green. Don't do anything stupid. Absolutely. 181 covers the shoulder in the middle of the green. Or you could take dead aim. Oh, my, my goodness. Didn't think that was on, Peter. Well, that'll only be the second birdie of the day at 11, the most difficult hole on the golf course. And he has second place all to himself right now. Molinari now opens up a six-shot lead. 3-3 three, three at 10 and 11. Would be right on the button. Tom Tracer Technology. Tracking this one toward the flag stick and beautifully played again. Another great shot. He's just a machine. Ari right, to get to 19. Oh my no goodness. Doubts. <laughs> I'll give him another one. Just incredible golf. Six under for the days. Four under through three holes on the second side. It'll be a big factor in the FedEx Cup playoffs as well. Let him in. He just keeps pouring them in. Now 20 under par. Seven under for the day. This is extraordinary. Because this, in theory, he's going to, you know, cover some sand toward his ball. Not much happened there as he plays it down beautifully. Come on. How about this trick on the back nine? He's gone eagle. Birdie, birdie, birdie. We saw a tiger miss from this line from about a foot and a half closer. Yeah. Sure is fun to putt when you've got a lot of cushion, huh? A lot of FedEx cut points with that double at uh, 16. A potential runner-up finish. We go to 16. A couple club changes. That one coming from 144 into the breeze. <laughs> Imagine that whole high, Luke. What a surprise. 61 greens in regulation now. That is Herculean, just outside 11 feet. Little reminiscent of the putts he hit yesterday. Defensive, but par is on the card. Academic now, really, surely. See if he can make a run to 61. Oh, oh. right down the stack. Beautiful. That putt to win by nine. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah, that would be the largest margin of victory on the tour.